How's it going, everybody? My name is Alpha Mimer. Let's do some mid wars, shall we? As you can see, my queue just popped. Let's start a recording. Why not? Uh, I haven't done this in a while. It should be fun. Let's take a look at our heroes list. Actually, first, before we do that, let's check out the bands that BT, Boda, and Overlaw choose. Looks like they are taking a little while to choose the bands. They're, they're pretty simple, guys. There are some permanent bands that you should pick. There you go. Devo is one band. Flint Beastwood will be our second band. Artillery will be our third band. All good heroes to band. Prisoner, Thunderbringer, and then a duplicate, which would be Flint. They both uh, band Flint. So those are pretty good bands. It leaves Behemoth wide open. But Behemoth isn't always an instant pick, which is interesting because Behemoth can completely wreck a mid wars game. So on our team we have a hammerstorm so far, a nighthound and a predator. That's not that great. So let's try to pick a stunner, shall we? I'm thinking we'll go with an intelligence hero. They're t they're kind of my favorite ones. Let's try a not geomancer. Let's try maybe huh. I'm thinking either bombardier or bombardier. That's exactly who we're going to pick. I don't have any skins for Bombardier, but they all look kind of the same. So we have uh, we have Hammerstorm, good initiator, like I said, good team fighter in mid wars. Flux, really good uh, control hero in mid wars. He can push and pull enemies around. He can pull the entire enemy team towards him when he gets his ultimate. Nighthound, not the greatest pick for a mid wars. Easily countered by. Whoops, not that. Easily countered by, you know, wards, which are so much easier to get in mid wars since, of course, like I always say, you're accelerated gold. People can buy wards and everybody can afford to buy wards because you don't lose gold when you die and you don't really have to farm. So with Bombardier, we're going to pick up our Sticky Bomb first. Let's talk about Bombardier's skills. What's wrong, Hammerstorm? Don't be so mad yet. We haven't lost yet. Uh, actually, no. Let's talk about our rest of our team composition. Bombardier, pretty good team fighter in mid-wars. Uh, not, not the greatest, but he's a good hero. And again, like I say with Predator all the time, he's one of the best carries for mid-wars. They have Luna, Empath. Luna is very annoying, really good for mid-wars. Uh, Empath is maybe not the best, but she has her situations where she can be very useful. Let's try to block this. I did a pretty poor job, but at least I did it, and nobody else tried to. They have Sir Benzington. Again, I would assume he's pretty good for mid-wars. Alonia, extremely good. And Monkey King. I think I said this in a video before, or I think the last video. Monkey King is only useful if the person who is playing him is very good. Otherwise, in mid-wars especially, he just gets shit on. This Hammerstorm is bitching about having a tank. That is funny because A, he's a tank, or he can definitely build himself to be like one, and B, there's no such thing as a tank in Heroes of New Earth unless you count Legionnaire. Legionnaire is the only hero that can actually make another hero attack him. I, that's the thing I don't get. Tanks don't exist in MOBA games. You don't have aggro tables. You're fighting other people. They can fight or they can attack whoever they want. If you build yourself to be tanky, Hammerstorm, and then everybody just decides to ignore you, well, you're still not a very efficient tank. You're about as efficient of a tank as this creep right here, say. I just got taunted, and then I got smacked with a giant bamboo stick. That's what Predator is trying to explain to him. Um, let's talk about Bombardier skills, because he's, he's a pretty cool hero. When he first came out, I remember like, liking him a lot. So my first skill is a Sticky Bomb. Let's try to show show what sticky bomb is I basically throw a bomb <laughs> no it might be might be redundant since my auto attack also throws bombs but I throw a bomb at target position and if it hits an enemy like you can see on empath it sticks to them and then a count uh, countdown timer goes on and you can see max right there if you let it go for the max amount of time you get the max stun you will get the max damage but you can optionally manually activate it to do the stun and damage earlier now, at level 1, it doesn't do that much damage and that much stun, but when you level it up, it can be very annoying sometimes. My second skill is Bombardment. Bombardment is essentially the same thing as Flint or Sniper's uh, Caltrops or whatever the hell it's called, his Flare Gun. Ow. Reattacking. 
let's get sticky bomb i i think i'm pretty decent at aiming these they can be a little bit tricky to aim sometimes but especially when you get a stun there we go killed empath with my sticky bomb and we get out of there because that's just a fucking nightmare so you can see the little bombs raining from the sky that's my bombardment it does damage over time for people in it and also does a movement speed slow my third skill is unique in that <laughs> this hammer storm is real mad but so is the way of here's a new earth my third skill is an active effect that you put on a hero and the next attack that they take will explode essentially and do magic damage to them and everyone around them in a small area and then my ultimate is airstrike airstrike is what is it akin to I know there's a hero in Dota that has a uh, oh I should be in here fighting nope no 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 let's not do that there's a hero in Dota that I know has a skill like this it's basically a global uh, airstrike so you target a line oh god Bensington's coming for me we target a line and it drops three bombshells oh shit I died <laughs> I was trying to focus on doing something but you, th you drop three bombshells uh, on that line and it does a crap ton of damage you can get a staff of the master upgrade to make it leave napalm in its wake and it's a really good ultimate, especially for mid wars, where all five of the heroes are generally going to be clumped up really close together. Like now, if I had, if I was level six instead of them, I could easily just, I couldn't kill anybody because it doesn't do that much damage at level one, but I can definitely hurt somebody. Flux just pulled that cannon to death. That's interesting. Our team gets a lot, well, our team gets better at level six unfortunately their team gets a lot better at level six as well Aluna gets her her skill that makes her little bamboo stick which is just like uh what's her name windrunner windrunner's uh arrow it makes it global oh there we go let's just throw that explode that bomb there because i didn't hit anybody with it unfortunately oh flux got that deny and that one cool Empath, she can, she has the ability to jump into people, jump inside of them, make herself immune, and give that person attack speed, movement speed, and can heal them and everything. Empath's a really hard support. Just stick that onto Benzie there, because why not? And we'll let it go to the max, or we'll do that. Get this bitch! Ah, oh, he, he friggin' jumped away. That's lame. Oh well. Unfortunately, I, I don't have any of my skills. And I missed, but I procked that anyway. Can I get this? No, I'm gonna die. God dang it. We can't really do much. Nighthound. <laughs> Dude, you have no place to talk. You picked Nighthound in a mid wars. You do nothing for our team. Your his ultimate makes him invisible. What is that gonna do for a team fight? What is oh, he's chasing Benzi, and he's not gonna get him. Because he's bad. Jump him! Oh, man. Oh, God. He's gonna kill... Er... Benzie's there. And... I don't know what he was trying to prove, but... Whatever it was, he didn't do it. So, we're gonna grab our airstrike. And I believe I can help them out from over here. I think my airstrike naturally has a global... Let's do it. I hit somebody. I hit Monkey King. I think. There you see Empath fell out of... Uh, oh, oh, I'm dead. Ugh. You see Empath fell out of whoever. While she's inside, of course, she's invincible. And she's... It makes it sound highly sexual. Let's buy some wards. Wards, never a bad thing. Like I said in last game, if I don't buy them, who's gonna buy them? Benzi just canceled his ult. Just put that there. And we're, we're losing. Not not hard. But I think the fact that our team is arguing and generally just having a hard time <laughs> cooperating, that, that might make it a little bit harder. Ah, got him. I kind of assumed that he was going to go back when I started getting closer. So I just threw the sticky bomb a little bit behind him. 
They killed my ward. Damn it. Oh well. Yeah, Bombardier, I like him. He's a cool hero. My ultimate is on a 140 second cooldown, so it's pretty massive for how how low does it get? How low can it go? It goes down to 100. Okay. Ha, bitch. Monkey King's so fucking dead. I almost died too, though. Let's just hit Benzie, because why not? Ranged hero. Ooh, I got that kill, too. Let's get Bombardment. Oh, God, get out of the way of Alonia's stuff. She hurts so much. Let's just go back to base. And what do we want to pick up? Well, I think the most logical pickup right now would be Spell Shards. You can never do enough magic damage until you do enough magic damage. <laughs> Which means Spell Shards only reduces enemies' magic armor down to zero, I believe. Yeah. It doesn't negatively reduce their magic armor, which is unfortunate. But at least that means... Whoa. What's going on here? Come on, people. Well, that didn't do a stun. I think you have to... I don't, I don't know how long you have to do it for it until it does a stun. Come on, ult. Uh, well, hammer got <laughs> trapped in there. There's nothing we can do. I, I don't know what you wanted me to do. Yeah. God, I wish there was a way to mute people in this game. I don't want to play with bots because I they're just dumb. Get this hoe. Oh, well, I guess not. I'm not even going to acknowledge this hammer. He's just on his pe period or something. I don't know. Uh, let's get a, let's get a couple wards, maybe. That'd be a good idea, so we can actually see. Let's queue that up. Get the shop out of my way. And put this mana potion on me. Need that mana. What is Nighthound doing over there? What the fuck? Give me the courier, dude. Now you go home. You don't get your gloves of haste. <laughs> we'll put that right there. And then hopefully not get murdered by Alonia. I I don't know what is going on with these people in the chat, but like I said, such is the way of Mid Wars or Heroes of New Earth or any MOBA game for that matter. Got that bitch. Ooh, I got Empath with that too. I didn't try to do that. Okay, I kind of lost track of what's going on <laughs> and I died and please tell me empath is gonna die well she creep blocked herself so that's good what do we want to oh yeah uh, spell shards well we got level one spell shards that's good so I used my ult there to get oh you're so dead <laughs> why did oh I guess I didn't use the teleporter that sucks could have been over here by now. Not like I could have done anything to help them. Get that last hit. And that one. Yeah. Fuck you, Predator. Ooh, wait. Oh, I just can't read. I thought Predator was 19. I was like, how did that happen so quickly? We're down by a couple points. Booyah. And Bombardier says booyah. Come on now. You know he's a cool guy. What you got, Elder Parasite? Yeah. He, classic hammer, or classic, uh, here's a new earth player. Complains about having no tank, picks a tanky hero, and doesn't go tanky build. What up with that? Did I get him? Yeah, I got, a uh, Monkey King, I think. Whatever pink is. Empath died, I get my second level on my, oh, yeah! That guy died, and let's get another stats level. And I'm thinking what we're gonna, what I'm gonna go with is another, or not another. I got level one spell shards to be enough. I'm thinking we're gonna get a tablet of command. So let's do that. Let's pick up a. It looks like Nighthound has it covered on counter warding, which you know makes sense because it's his problem, not ours. He's the invisible one. So let's just pick up all of our junk here. 
once our bombardier gets to base and we'll start our push book next it'll help with initiation since go through the teleporter dude since apparently hammerstorm is just petrified of initiating and so is flux even though flux i know your ult is has a obnoxiously long cooldown for what it is although it can it can seriously just mess with the team let's put uh, a ward right here so we can get some vision over there hero missing. and then we'll put a hero not a hero <laughs> just heard hero missing we'll put a ward right here so we can see what's going on by their teleporter Ooh, there we go they got rev wards up everywhere guess they're scared of nighthound which they really shouldn't be even though he has crit shards so he can be pretty scary i guess i suppose <laughs> Jeez, a lot of wards i'm liking this i'm not the only one buying them that is where am i at hammer if you stun somebody i promise to follow up i swear to you i will not let you down <laughs> but i guess not oh hammer oh buddy i can't oh i was stunned okay oh benzy benzy's gonna kill me no get away from me you rapist chip roll thingy Oh man. Damn it, I got a Luna. <laughs> I got sticked. That's unfortunate. That's why I don't like a Luna. She's just annoying. She's like Windrider, but worse. <laughs> Actually, she's a better hero. I think. She has a better ultimate, though. Her ultimate makes. Uh, what does it do? It like enhances all of her other three abilities. So she has like a phase walk type thing, and uh, she throws her stick, and then a stun? I think I haven't played a Luna in forever. Get that hoe. She got murked real bad. Let's get a Luna. That didn't do that much. I probably, you know, should be going for a Staff of the Master, and we probably shouldn't be diving that hard. Especially when their T2 isn't down yet. So let's not do that. Yeah, that's what happens. You die <laughs> when you dive into their well. Uh, who is this getting chased? Nighthound. Okay. Nighthound, you're, you'll are you be fine. But we should probably back up. Oh, God. he's gonna, You're so dead. I'm so dead, too. Jeez. He does have Empath inside of him. So I guess that's not too much to be worried about. Can we afford our push book? Yes, we can. Sweet. Good. That that probably would have saved me, to be honest. But you know, hindsight, 2020, whatever. They're gonna get away. <laughs> uh, I think we sh we can get start or start getting our boom dust now. Boom dust. I like the skill. It's it's interesting because essentially what you do is that. I don't know if you can see that, but you. Oh, Brown got kicked. Who's Brown? Monkey King. Hmm. You put it on a hero. So, like, you saw I put it on Flux right there. And the next attack he will take, he'll do an AoE damage around himself. Or if you put it on an enemy hero, same thing. Get this tower. Thank you. No, keep going. Keep going. After him. All right, supposed to just get the shrine. Hey, hey, look at that. I got him. Ooh, I still got him. Put that, put the napalm or the sticky, sticky stuff on him. Uh, can I get her? No, I missed. Damn it. She's too fast. And now she's not too fast. Empath. Oh, silly bitch. I'm dead, but she put herself in a corner. I don't know why. I guess to do exactly what she did. We should really have this. I should really have a Staff of the Master. That Napalm is deadly. Cause each bomb to leave Napalm. And gives vision too. So that never hurts. <laughs> super noob. Goddamn super noobs. Those are the worst, man. Regular noobs, uh, you can deal with those. Super noobs are the ones that like... Every once in a while I have a stroke of genius. Like, I suppose this Hammerstorm might... 
like him a him being able to press his Q key and actually stun people, that's kind of a stroke of genius for him, I suppose. But I told him I wasn't giving them the time of day, so I should probably just stop talking about him. Let's do that. Why not? He is rude, dude. Oh, he's rude. Okay. Well, he's he's probably rude too. But we can really just take their shrine right now. Like do it what the what the hell are they even gonna do except jump at us and then get stuck why are, why do we not focus Alonia put that shit on him oh no ow I guess it, I suppose it makes sense to focus me let's just get the fuck out of there and we lost that team fight hard jeez Let's get our level three of our ult. I don't really, I don't want to use my ult until I get, uh, until I get the staff of the master. I don't. It doesn't reduce the cooldown. It just makes it a lot better. I suppose a hundred seconds, not that big of a deal to waste or to, you know, you know what I'm saying. He is feed. He is feed. Grammar is hard. That's actually correct. Grammar. <laughs> I was trying to make a grammar pun there. Let's just kill these things. Oh god, Benzi. Oh, snap, son. Why do I keep putting it on myself? I don't know. That's weird. Get that hoe. And get that hoe. Come on, Brad. There you go. I just whack on the shrine a little bit. How did that hit me? I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, do it. Do it, Predator. And Hammer Storm. Uh, I guess you two are just going to die. Pred has crazy lifesteal. Let's get our Staff of the Master. Oh, can't afford it. If we sell that, we can, though. There we go. Now in, you know, 70 seconds, I can use my ult again, and it'll leave fire behind. But we, hopefully we should win. No, we're not going to win. That shrine is going to regen really quick. I guess I can follow Flux, but he has been doing about as much as I have. We still win. All push. Yeah. How about we do that right now as a team instead of, you know, how we've been doing solo. I haven't really used my push book to maximum effectiveness. That's okay, though. Wasn't really necessary. Hey, man. Benzikson, I care. I care about Midwars. Yeah, Orange, come on. Pred, what are you doing, bro? Attack that shrine, bro. Benzikson's gonna jump, and it's gonna be real annoying. <laughs> Unless we kill him first, that is. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh! I still got hit by that. What are you doing? Bombardier. God. Fucking go the way I tell you to go, bruh. Hey, I got him. Thank you. Now attack the shrine. I'm so about to die. It's okay, though. Oh, Luna's coming for me. And Luna's gonna get shredded, a new asshole. And I almost did, too. Jeez. I can finish Empath off if she decides to get away, but she won't. Okay, let's just bomb him. Because why not? And we won! Well, that was a good way to start off my mid-wars recording session. Let's check out our medals. First, I got first uh, Bloodlust and Caffeinated. It always makes me feel happy for some reason when I get Caffeinated, even though it means absolutely nothing. Let's check out our APM. 182 still not quite as crazy as that first game that I recorded but anyway thank you guys for watching I will see you next time